guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Office Blog Daz. Office Blog Caden. Here we are on Sports Edition. Sports Edition? Division. Division. Decision, division, yeah. whichever one you want to call it. Uh, give us a like and subscribe if you don't mind. It does help us grow. We appreciate it. Get all your sports stuff here. Only yeah. sports and everything sports we do. Exactly. Uh, how every team got its name and identity. I'm assuming this is NBA. Yeah, looks it. It's probably bring it back a little bit to, uh, to the start. Yeah, I'm guessing it's NBA. So uh, should we get straight into it? Well, anyone, I mean, anyone, does anyone come to mind? Well, I feel like teams over there are just like, just whenever it starts, you just choose an animal. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's almost like that, though. It's not like how can it be? Obviously, that like some sort of thing that relates to the state. Well, things like the uh, Philly Philadelphia seventy sixers. Yeah, that's Is true. Seventeen seventy six when it was uh, when they got independence, or it was about that time, wasn't it? What the USA? Yeah. Wasn't Philadelphia one of the capitals? Yeah, that, that probably has something to do with some of I wouldn't capitals, know. Yeah. But like all like the Hawks, like what could yeah. that be? The Knickerbockers, the New yeah. York Knickerbockers. Yeah. And that's got to have some kind of meaning, haven't it? Hasn't it? Well, the Phoenix Suns, I can feel feel like why they put Suns in Phoenix. Yeah, yeah. Should we get into it and find yeah. out why? Yeah. Why would it be called Oklahoma Thunder? Thunder, because there's always thunder there. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Did you know that the NBA was founded to fill the seats in hockey arenas? Or that the Miami Heat could have been called the Miami Suntans? Why is Philadelphia's team called the Sixers? And what is a Knickerbocker? This is how every NBA team got their name. There are only two NBA franchises that have existed since 1946 and never changed their address or their nickname. Do you know who they are? Boston Celtics, I was gonna say that. I was gonna say the Celtics and the Lakers. Oh, I just said the Celtics, and what what year did he say? Forty six. I would probably go with the Detroit Pistons. Yeah, that's a good one. Because the Cavs. Has the Lakers always been in LA? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, no, why, why are they called Lakers? Because lakes is like uh, you, you imagine I'm Great Lakes and all that, yeah. wouldn't you? And, and, and states that, have got loads know. of lakes. I don't know why. And Minnesota and places I don't know like why that. I thought the lake but Boston Celtics. Let me have a think a minute. And, uh, I would have said the Celtics though as well. Yeah, Celtics was hundred percent for yeah. me. Um, and uh, I'm gonna go with Detroit Pistons. Okay. What about the Bulls? First it's is the league. Boston Celtics, formed on June 6, 1946, as one of the 11 teams in the newly established Basketball Association Mixed. of America. Lake the BAA on, uh, formation only yeah, came true there. because of Walter Brown, the owner of the Boston Garden. Brown realized that the Garden's ice hockey arena sat empty on many nights and that it could be profitable to host basketball games. So he called up the other arena so owners and they formed the BAA. Brown had the league, he had the arena, the only thing missing was the team name. His staff proposed many different nicknames, such as Olympians, Whirlwinds, and even Unicorns. But Walter didn't like any of those names. Instead, he decided to call his team Celtics, drawing inspiration from the New York Celtics, a basketball team that dominated in the 1920s with a 90% win ratio. Even though his advisors warned him about having an Irish name, Brown was adamant, and the name stuck forever. But the other original NBA organization that never relocated and never changed its nickname was also formed on June 6th, 1946. Like Walter Brown, who owned the Boston Garden, Ned probably should have said the New York Knicks to be fair when you really think about it. Mm. Irish was the owner of the Madison Square Garden, and he was also interested in packing his arena when there wasn't any hockey. So just like Brown, Irish also gathered the members of his staff to cast their vote on a team name. They put all the suggestions in a hat, and the name drawn out was the Knickerbockers. The Knicker Knickerbocker was the name of the original Dutch settlers of the area that later became New York. And later, Knickerbockers became the moniker of New Yorkers in general. Immediately in their inaugural season, the Knickerbockers got shortened to Knicks, even though the official long version remains to this day. <laughs> and for many decades, despite some horrible seasons, the Knicks were the most valuable NBA franchise. But since 2022, that title belongs to the Warriors, who were also one of the OG teams from 1946. The Warriors were founded in Philadelphia by Peter Tyrell, who also owned the Philadelphia Rockets of the American Hockey League. Tyrell then hired Eddie Gottlieb as coach and general manager. And since 
1917, Gottlieb was Philadelphia's Mr. Basketball, a longtime promoter and team owner. Gottlieb's first team was named the Philadelphia Warriors, and after they went bankrupt in 1929, he simply decided to resurrect the name. In 1962, the franchise relocated to California, but they retained the nickname, becoming the San Francisco Warriors. They used that name until 1971 when they moved to Oakland, finally becoming the Golden State Warriors. And the Warriors division arch rival shares a similar history. In 1948, the Lakers were actually founded in Minneapolis, and their name was selected because Minnesota was known as the land of 10,000 lakes. The Lakers won five titles in Minneapolis, and when they relocated to Los Angeles in 1960, they decided to keep the name because of its rich championship history. But the Lakers and the Warriors are not the only Californian teams with the longest history. That title belongs to the Sacramento Kings, whose first iteration is over 100 years old. Formed back in 1923, Three, they were originally known as the Rochester Seagrams. After the drink, what, what drinks drink? brand? What Seagrams? Seagrams? I've never heard of it. Do they make like uh, Seagrams? Do they make like whiskey or something like that? Or I don't know mixes and stuff. I'm not sure. What do you mean make mixes? Isn't that just Coke and stuff? No, you have like a uh, Fever Tree uh, things like that. They do like uh, tonic water and stuff like oh, that. Right. Seagrams. Come on, is it ginger beer or something like that? Or whiskey? I I've never heard of it, so I don't know. Seagrams. Until, in 1945, they became the Rochester Royals, playing in the NBL, a rival league of the BAA. Then, in 1948, the Royals transferred to the BAA, and a year later, two leagues merged into one, forming the NBA. The Royals remained in Rochester until 1957, when they moved to Cincinnati. And, in 1972, they relocated again. They played in Kansas City and Omaha, becoming the first franchise to host their games in two cities. But, because Kansas already had a baseball team named the Royals, to avoid confusion, they needed a new name. The franchise stuck with a regal nickname, finally becoming the Kings, a name they would keep when they relocated to Sacramento in 1985. And the next OG franchise is the one that dealt Shaq his biggest playoff loss. It's the Detroit Pistons, who first got their name in 1941. The team was founded in Fort Wayne, Indiana, as the Fort Wayne Zollner Pistons. The franchise got its name from team owner Fred Zollner's Piston Manufacturing Company. And before they joined the BAA in 1948, they won two NBL championships. Then, in 1957, when the team moved to Detroit, Zollner decided to shorten the team name to just Pistons, which was a suitable match for the Motor City. And in in the inaugural NBA season 1949, another franchise with hockey roots joined the league. It was the Tri-Cities Blackhawks, who played in Moline, Illinois, adopting the same name as the local hockey team, the Chicago Blackhawks. The nickname was chosen in honor of Indian Chief Blackhawk, who in the early 1800s occupied the land in the Chicago area. After relocating to Milwaukee in 1951, the team shortened its title to Hawks, which would stay when they moved to St. Louis in 1955 and then finally to Atlanta in 1968. And for the final NBA senior citizen, founded in 1946, we have the Philadelphia 76ers. Back then, they were called the Syracuse Nationals. And in Syracuse, they won the 1955 NBA championship. In 1963, one year after the Warriors moved from Philadelphia to San Francisco, new owners relocated the franchise to Philly, feeling that it was a much bigger market than Syracuse. They then organized a public contest for the name of the new franchise, settling on the 76ers, representing the signing of the United States Declaration of Independence which was signed in Philadelphia in 1776. The eight forefathers of the NBA competed in the league for more than a decade, until 1961, when the NBA... Well, I got the 76ers right. You did. <laughs> I didn't you get did. anything else right. Well, you said the Lakers. You oh, the said, Lakers said Lakers. You, kind of said, you didn't say Minnesota. I did. Did I just, you? Yeah. I thought you just said it's from, from Lakers. It just sounds like it's a... From I said a somewhere like the Great Lakes or a state that's got loads of lakes like Minnesota. Oh. Mm. Check it out. It's there yeah. on video. Yeah. Mm. If we're on record, yeah, we are. <laughs> introduced their first expansion team. They were called the Chicago Packers, and the nickname was a reference to Chicago's meatpacking industry. Oh. But just one year later, they renamed the franchise to Chicago Zephyrs. Until the next year, they changed the name again. Wow. The Zephyrs relocated to Baltimore in 1963, rebranding themselves as the Bullets in tribute to the former the Baltimore, BAA the League's Baltimore, Baltimore Bullets. Yeah. In 1973, the franchise moved to D.C. and became the Capital Bullets, and then finally the Washington Bullets. By the early 1990s, team owner Abe Poland wanted to dissociate the team's name from gun violence. So after holding a renaming contest, Poland rejected the names Sea Dogs, Dragons, Stallions, and Express before finally accepting the name Wizards. And for all you bracket wizards out there, tournament time is finally here. So fill out your brackets and bet on who you think will rise Ooh. to the top with the sponsor of this video, DraftKings Sportsbook. Just before I fast forward through DraftKings, talking about brackets, basketball brackets, 
I'm doing really well. Yeah. I'm like 99.7%. Doing really well, yeah. Yeah, I was like 77,000 in the world. Hopefully you can get to number one. You never know. You never know. $5 on any wager and get $150 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code nonstop, only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. And always remember to gamble responsibly. And even though their original NBA franchise collapsed and the second one relocated to Baltimore, the third time was the charm for the city of Chicago. The founder of the team, Dick Klein, was a former basketball player and general manager. But when Chicago was granted an expansion team in 1966, he couldn't think of a suitable name. He contemplated naming the franchise Matadors or Toreadors until his son said, that's a bunch of bull. And that's how the Bulls got their name. <laughs> Just a year after the Brilliant. Bulls entered the NBA, another future NBA champion champion join. It was the San Diego Rockets, who got their name from a public poll in San Diego, and the fans chose the name because of the space industry in their city. When the Rockets relocated to Houston in 1971, they had no reason to change the team name, since the NASA Space Center is located in Houston. And that same year, in 1967, another basketball franchise was founded in New Jersey, called the Americans, but they played in the ABA. One year later, they relocated to Long Island, and because New York already housed the Jets and the Mets, the team Team owners cleverly decided to rename the team the Nets. In 1976, the Nets returned to New Jersey, where they would play until 2012, before Jay-Z and Mikhail Prokhorov moved the team to Brooklyn. Next up, we have a city that most recently lost its NBA franchise, and we dearly hope they get it back again. It's the Seattle Supersonics, who got named after the Supersonic Transport Project due to the city's ties with the aviation industry. And as you probably know, in 2008, the Sonics relocated to Oklahoma City. They will be in Oklahoma City next season, playing their games. Where the fans chose the name Thunder instead of the other options, such as Renegades, Twisters, and Barons. <laughs> Just like Seattle, Milwaukee... Some of the names that get, like, pulled out, like, what some people come up with for it is awful, man. It's, I think what you need to do now, you need to go to PR companies to get your... Uh, and advertising agencies to get, your, to get your names. If you put it out to the public to do, for a public vote, you might get a few good names, but if you go for, you know, you know a, a draw or something like that, you know, it's... Uh, we had a boat over here that was, um, was going to do something in the North Sea, or it was like a North Sea trawler boat or something, or a rescue boat. Right. And uh, they asked the public to name it. And then they got, which shortened it down to the top three with votes. And number one, and they called it Boaty Mac Boatface. <laughs> <laughs> and it won. And in the end, it, That's always the problem with votes. Well, in, the end, stuff, in, in the end, they said, we're not calling it Boaty Mac Boatface. And in the end, it got named after. Um, What's his name? Uh, the, What's the point of doing the, the, the thing then if you're not going to go with who wins? Well, that's it. Well, you couldn't call it Boaty Mac Boatface. Why not? He won. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the worst thing yeah. about it is like, imagine being a Sonic Supersonics fan from Seattle and then next thing you know, we're playing in Oklahoma next season, changing the name. Mm. You're like, what the fuck? Yeah, if you're a bit, especially if you're a big diehard fan. I yeah. mean, that's, that's, I think that's why I mean more people stick with colleges. Yeah. Can't really, you, get, you can move them obviously, but you, you don't really move, do they? They stay where they are. Yeah. And and you, you, you support your college then. Mm lost their original franchise when the Hawks moved to St. Louis. But after 13 years without the NBA, in 1968, Milwaukee was awarded with an expansion team. Like most other newcomers, the owners organized a public poll, and the most popular entry was the name Robbins. The name Skunks was in second place, but the owners didn't like those names, and they overruled the public vote, deciding to call themselves the Bucks, which was really a blessing. Just imagine if Giannis had to say, I'm glad to be part of the Skunks. And that same season, on the other side of the country, another city got their franchise. Also like Milwaukee, the citizens of Phoenix proposed some terrible names for their new team. Some decent options included the Scorpions, Rattlers, and Thunderbirds, but there were also horrible submissions, such as Sun Lovers, White Winged Doves, and Cactus Giants? Unable to choose. Even so, I still think the Suns is like, if they weren't called the Suns and you said that that was one of their proposed names, you'd probably say that's a shit name. Imagine being called the Suns. There's a lot of names, because you know them who they are. Yeah, you, you don't really name. think too much about yeah. him but yeah. if like what I said like if it's like our nicknames we use over here for the football teams um, some of them you wouldn't like you know do you know, uh, do you even know what Manchester City is what They're our nickname what the citizens the citizens yeah yeah. I wonder if you knew why would I not know a that a lot of people don't know mm. but it's like some of them you see and you think well United like the Red Devils the Red Devils oh the Red yeah. Devils so scary <laughs> <laughs>
Here's a name from the public. A young 28-year-old general manager by the name of Jerry Colangelo took the decision into his own hands, naming the team Phoenix Suns. And if there was ever a good time to form an NBA team, it was in 1970, when three new cities got an NBA franchise. Cleveland could have been known as the Jays, Towers, Presidents, and Foresters before they ultimately decided to call themselves the Cavaliers, because they felt the Cavalier name represented the fighting spirit of the Ohio natives. Then there was Portland, where the general public Public leaned towards the name Pioneers. But since there was already a college team in Oregon named the Pioneers, the ownership chose the name that came second in the polls, the Trailblazers. Then we have the Clippers, who were the first founded as the Buffalo Braves. In 1976, the Braves had three future MVPs on the roster, but due to money problems, they were forced to trade them all and then sell the team to San Diego, where the franchise was renamed the Clippers after the type of 19th century ship that was commonly used in the San Diego Bay. But just like the first time, it wouldn't take long before the city of San Diego lost their NBA team. The Rockets relocated from San Diego after four years. See, that, that's the thing, that San Diego had a team and then a I can't remember which team it was now that that located away from San Rockets. Diego. Rockets. Yeah, the Rockets, yeah. And then they went to the Houston Rockets. So mm -hmm. then you, then people from San Diego are probably like a Houston Rockets fan, really. Yeah, you're probably... And then the new team it. comes to San Diego. Are you still going to be a Rockets no, fan? And then you you're going to start supporting the Clippers. You change your team. Change your team, yeah. yeah. But you can't change your team. If, if Manchester City tomorrow said, we're not being Manchester City anymore, we're going to now be called Liverpool City. And they move to Liverpool. That'd be the end for me. Yeah, I wouldn't like... I'd, but I wouldn't go and support United. No, no, I just won't, I wouldn't watch football. Wouldn't watch football? I'd probably go to Altrincham. Yeah, mm. you probably would. Mm. And the Clippers moved to Los Angeles in six. After new owner Donald Sterling bought the team in 1981, promising that he'd never move the team. I'm comfortable here and I'm happy here and I just want to stay here in San Diego. It took him just three years to break that promise, establishing very early that he would become arguably the worst owner in NBA history. By the 1974-75 NBA <coughs> season, the league had 18 teams, with the newest addition being New Orleans. Some options for the team name included the Crescents, Pilots, Deltas, Cajuns, and Dukes. But ultimately, they chose the most suitable name for their city, Jazz, since the music genre was invented in New Orleans. However, just after the Jazz posted the worst record in the league during the 1979 season, the ownership decided to relocate the team to Salt Lake City, where they never bothered to create a new identity for their team. And arguably one of the most important years in NBA history was 1976, because the NBA League merged with the ABA and agreed to accept four of the remaining six ABA teams, the Denver Nuggets, Indiana Pacers, New York Nets, and San Antonio Spurs. The Nuggets were originally called the Rockets, but since Houston had the same name, the newcomers were forced to make the change. After a naming contest, the team settled on Nuggets, as a reference to the Colorado Gold Rush in the 1850s. The Pacers got their name after Pacers Cost. To be fair, I'm pretty sure we actually knew that about Denver. We did like, know about that. Nuggets, I feel like yeah. we've seen that yeah. before the Nuggets one. We would have got that, yeah. It's from the Indy 500, oh, and also Pacer. because Pacer was a type of harness in horse racing, another oh. big part of Indiana's rich racing history. And then there were the Spurs, who were just a three-year-old franchise originally founded as the Dallas Chaparrales, and then in 1973 relocated to San Antonio. Like most of the other teams, the ownership organized public voting for the name, and they almost named themselves Aztecs before they ultimately opted for the Spurs. Spurs, a very suitable name for a team in Texas. Then, four right. years later, the what, what does Spurs mean? Spurs are the uh, like the things you have wear on the back of cowboy boots. Oh, really? You know them like things that back down with the. Sp the sp I was sp hoping spiky for like, wheel uh, the owner was a Tottenham Hotspur fan or no, something. No, 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 that has nothing to do with that. One <laughs> Star State got its third NBA franchise after the Rockets and the Spurs. The Dallas Mavericks joined the league, and they got their name after a local radio contest. The name Mavericks won with 41 votes in front of other options such as Wranglers and Mavericks Express. Is such By an 1988, name. the NBA had 24 franchises, and then in the next two seasons, another expansion gave birth to four more teams. Miami organized a public poll for to call themselves the Dallas Drillers. Drillers. <laughs> After the oil drilling. It's like oil town, isn't it, Texas? Yeah. It's where all the oil is, so they could have called it Drillers for drilling. I feel like oil. there's like a minor league baseball or the, team. Or the like Dallas the Derricks. The what? That 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 frame you have that goes up in the uh, they're on an oil rig or a land rig that goes up like metal frame that goes up like a yeah. looks like a tower. It's called a Derrick. Mm. Mm. Called them the Derricks. Called them the Dallas Derricks. <laughs> <laughs> I like it when it's uh, like alliteration. Yeah, I feel you like. Know, remember the Houston Oilers badge? That, yeah, that, yeah. The frame they had on it. That's a Derek. Oh. Mm. Mm. Is that why Derek Henry played for? The yeah, that's he was the Derek. He was the original Derek. That's where they got the name from. Oh. After Derek Henry. Now he's off to the Ravens, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Something like that. <laughs>
But yeah, what was you going to say? You remember? I don't know. No. For their name, that yielded many unusual suggestions. The choices included the Floridians, the Sharks, Miami Beaches, the Barracudas, Miami and the beaches. Tornadoes. One entry included the name Miami Suntans. Which Wait, so when it said there, Miami Beaches, they were, would that mean they'll be called the Miami, Miami Beaches? No, it'd just be called the Miami Beaches. Miami Suntans. Imagine that. Just, what are they called? Miami Heat. Heat. It's quite warm there, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. I just feel like that's so dead. What were the other names uh, they had? Just let me go back. <laughs> the sharks. Miami sharks, Floridians, no. Barracudas might have been good because they're the fish that uh, sort of like swim off the coast of Florida, aren't they? Yeah. Is there money dolphins? That's why they're called the Miami Dolphins yeah, in the dolphins NFL. Yeah, dolphins as well, yeah. yeah. Barracudas so. and the Tornadoes. One the entry tornadoes included the name Miami Suntans, which would have been hilarious, but they ultimately opted to be the Miami Heat. Hurricanes, man. A year later, the neighboring city of Orlando also nah. got a franchise, and they also had the choice to become the Floridians, but they opted for the name Magic because of their biggest tourist attraction, Disney World. Other options included Aquaman, Juice, and astronauts, <laughs> likely to Imagine call the Orlando, Orlando Aquaman. <laughs> due to the vicinity of Cape Canaveral, which is 50 miles east of Orlando. And Imagine. in the much colder part of the country, another franchise was born. And just like their Florida colleagues, the owners in Minnesota organized a public contest, where the most popular entry was the Blizzard. However, the ownership didn't like the Blizzard or the Polars, and they ultimately got known as the Timberwolves, because Minnesota was one of the only areas in the yeah. U.S. with free roaming packs of Timberwolves. Dangerous Animals also happened to be the choice for the name of the next two expansion franchises. In 1995, the National Basketball Association decided to become binational and expand its business to Canada. Vancouver and Toronto joined the league, and Vancouver was first supposed to be the Mounties. However, after protests from the Royal Mounted Canadian Police, which were colloquially called the Mounties, the ownership opted to name their team after a local bear, the Grizzly. Six years later, when the franchise relocated to Memphis, they decided to keep the name. And the story of the Toronto Raptors is surreal, because it's not like- I was gonna say, Raptors is my favorite name in the NBA. Yeah, you got Memphis Grizzlies. What else? Memphis. You could have been like the um, the Graceland. It's Elvis, isn't it? Like Elvis Presley is famous for Memphis. Yeah, the Memphis. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, that's what you could have called it. <laughs> the Memphis. <laughs> anybody has seen a dinosaur in the past 65 million years, but everybody has seen Jurassic Park, which was an extremely popular movie in 1995. So they simply decided on the name Raptors, which was favored over the other two options, dragons and bobcats. Interestingly enough, bobcats. the bobcats yes. and the dragons were also the two favorites for the NBA franchise in Charlotte. In 1988, Charlotte originally they became the, the Hornets, the and everybody yeah, fell in love with their team colors. But in 2002, after the Hornets relocated to New Orleans, Charlotte Charlotte got another franchise in 2004, and this time everybody hated their colors. They chose yeah. the name Bobcats it's instead of red. Dragons, and some people believe that the owner Bob Johnson actually named the team after himself. However, after the Bobcats became the worst team in NBA history, and the name Hornets became available again, Charlotte returned to their old name and colors, yeah. which was greatly appreciated by their fans. Then finally, we have the New Orleans Pelicans as the newest NBA team name. As we mentioned, New Orleans became the Jazz in the 1970s and then the Hornets in 2002. But after Tom Benson purchased the team in 2012, he wanted a new team name and identity, ultimately deciding to call his franchise the Pelicans, per Louisiana State Bird. If you want to find out more interesting NBA facts... Yeah, some, good ones there. <laughs> some of them are as simple as that, really, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, like, but when you've got... State Bird, Pelican, right, that's called the Pelicans. Yeah, but when you think about uh, what, what you're there to do, um, I don't know, you're there to... Don't know what you see. It's like um, you're there to destroy another team. You know what I mean? To beat somebody, so the things like Cavaliers or the, the, jazz. the Warriors. You know, it's, I mean, the Jazz I get because you got you got loads of stuff to choose from from New Orleans. Yeah. You know, because it's music, it's Cajun, it's food, it's you know birds, it's there's loads of stuff. But you're not getting Orleans. scared against a team called the Jazz. You no, know, what not I mean? really. No, but you say uh, they're gonna like, jazz you up. I don't really feel like that. <laughs> do you need a, Do you need a name? <laughs> or can you just be called Houston, Houston, Charlotte? No, nah, New I Orleans, feel like it Dallas. Needs something. We need something. I still think Dallas Derricks is the best name. No, no one, no one's voting for that, mate. It's better than Mavericks. What are you? I'm a Derrick's fan. <laughs> <laughs> How's everything? But about it's it? like when it's stuff that like scares Mavericks, people because everyone's like, thinking it's crazy. Shortens, like it's called like the Mavs. The Mavs. That's what they'll say, isn't that? Sounds quite cool. Mm. I don't know. It's uh, I don't know which is the best one. Probably the best. I think the Raptors. I think, I the, think Celtics. the Raptors. Nah, I don't like the yeah. Celtics or the Knicks. No, because then you say the Knickerbockers and it sounds sounds a bit naff. Yeah, because yeah, Knickerbockers were the old like long, long, uh, long panted underwear for women, mm -hmm. wasn't it? The Knickerbocker. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let us know in the comments what you guys think about Dallas Derricks.
<laughs> yeah, no, I don't know about that. It's going to catch on. No. It's going to catch on. Yeah. Anyway, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe as well, please. And we'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Cheers.